Hello everyone, this is Chocolate here, and welcome to my 52nd dream vlog. Um, I think this is... Is it my first video of 2021? I think it might be. <laughs> well, welcome to 2021. Uh, I thought I would start off with a dream vlog because I had an interesting dream, and full disclosure, this was... Um, my dream two nights ago, but I got really lazy yesterday and I did not want to film any videos, so... Um, upcoming, I plan on doing a review of Disenchantment Season 3 because that just came out. And hopefully some comics, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not reading a lot of new comics right now, but... You know, maybe a, an indie here and there. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video coming up. So. My dream began as this strange Grand Theft Auto game. It was definitely taking place in what looked like California, so in the Grand Theft Auto universe that would be San Andreas. Um, I was driving in a car, but since it was the game it was kind of like third person. Oh, excuse me, my, my new cat is eating, so you might hear a little tink -a link a link <laughs> This tea is really hot. Anyway. I was driving away from some pursuers along this, you know, beachside road. And a lot of my surroundings were kind of purpley. It was very neat. It was very pretty looking. It was kind of like a painting almost, like a pop art painting. So I drove across this bridge to a smaller island. And I drove around the perimeter. And then I pulled into a garage. And it was kind of tucked in the center of the island, a little down. There were trees coming up around it. So I, I was in this garage, and I needed to go meet some friends inside. So I walked inside this house, and it was very gray, and I was in this really long room with a black machine in the center. God, he's really eating, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, and I had two friends there. Two. <laughs> two friends. <laughs> and... So one of them was just kind of this nondescript, he almost looked like um, Russell from Up, like that same kind of Boy Scout, Wilderness Scout uniform. And one of them was like, he basically looked like a claymation Jimmy Stewart, and in my dream he was Jimmy Stewart. I didn't trust either of these people. They both kept trying to goad me into looking in the microscopes on the big black machine, but I was very worried that if I turned my back on them that something bad would happen. Eventually, the mailman-looking one left, and it was just me and Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> it's so weird saying that. <laughs> and so, with just me and him, finally he was able to convince me to look through one of the microscopes, and just as I suspected, he snuck up behind me with a syringe. Stab. Knocked me out. I, I like, I remember falling and blacking out, and I held onto his hand as I fell, and then suddenly I just slipped away. And I woke up in my own living room, and I was watching a sci-fi television show with my mother and father. It was kind of like, um, Stargate or Battlestar Galactica or one of those. And Jimmy Stewart was apparently also in this show, and I was thinking to myself how I needed to write down my dream for my dream vlog. Because <laughs> I thought I was awake, because it was kind of a dream within a dream. So I eventually walked towards the television, and I entered the show, and I was one of the aliens. Like, Jimmy Stewart was one of the aliens, and the aliens were the bad guys. They were invading Earth. Earth was at war with these guys. And I was one of the aliens, and they were called the Whispers. And I was dressed in kind of a 1940s style, very tight-fitting black suit with a black bow tie. Um, I was very... I was kind of weaselly. I always liked Weasley characters ever since I was little. If the character works for the bad guy but they're really shy, I'm like, oh my god, it's me. So I re I've always liked the Weasels, the Oily characters. If a char <laughs> if Oily is used to describe a character, chances are I might like them. But they have to also be Weasley. They can't just be Oily. They have to be Weasley too. But if they're Weasley, they don't have to be Oily. Anyways, I was one of those characters. <laughs> I befriended one of the humans, and he was much, much taller than me, so I was kind of, like, hiding behind him. And eventually, the aliens started to evacuate Earth, and I got the feeling that I would be left behind. However, the war was still going on, so I went with my friend to his father, who was also human, and we were in this kind of, like, toy factory area. It was weird looking. 
but he asked me to, you know, divulge secrets from my race. Now, I didn't really want to betray my race, but I also wanted to help my friend because his father was super suspicious of me. So I talked with them for a little bit, and I answered a lot of their questions, kind of tactfully, to not give up too much about the whispers. And that was pretty much it, and then I woke up shortly afterwards. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my video, and remember to like and subscribe. Bye! And a one and a two! My dreams are so awesome! My dreams are so So as many of you know, I am a citizen of the USA, and currently our country is suffering from a crisis at the border. Immigrants seeking asylum in the US are being detained, families are being separated and kept in detention centers in horrible conditions. All of it is scary and horrible, and a bit hard to come to terms with. So until things start getting better, I'm placing this message at the end of all of my videos to try to use what little influence I have to bring awareness and help. There are a number of things you can do to help. One of the simplest things is to donate to immigrant families together who are fundraising money to pay the bonds of detained immigrants and also provide necessities to families such as hygiene products, food, and shelter. This organization is also looking for volunteers. You can also take direct action by calling your state's government's officials and try to make your voice heard and also refuse to let your taxes go to fund these facilities. There are many groups online that are looking for help to make sure these people are treated like human beings and receiving the help they desperately need. Let's prove that there is still hope for humanity and help solve this crisis in the most humane way possible. Remember, showing kindness isn't political. It's just the right thing to do. Thank you.